What made you suddenly lose interest in someone you were pursuing? Before we dig into it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Story 1, she disappeared for about a month and showed up looking horrible. Lost so much weight I hardly recognised her. Found out that she was left 20k by her dad and received it. She was a crackhead and spent it all. Didn't spend a penny on her two young children either. Just left them with her mum and went partying. Story 2, the biggest red flag for me is pursuing someone who loves attention on themselves but is not very interested in your life. Basically, drop the pursuit right there and look for someone who is just as interested in you as you are in them. Story 3 yelled at someone at a party for a miscommunication. That was no one's fault. I get it. It was frustrating, but she just yelled at this woman for no reason. Story 4 They started flirting with my best friend. Story 5 I was into this girl in my friend group in the first couple months of uni. One late night we were all in the common room in a friend's accommodation around 1am. We were playing a game of truce when she got asked to rate all the guys in the friend group by attractiveness. Our group was 11 in size with 6 guys and 5 girls. She started off with the most attractive and went down the list. It hurt as she named every other guy there and with every push she took I was hoping I would just be the next guy named and not the last. Except I was the last guy she named. Not only that though. Shortly afterwards the other two girls of the group present at night were asked to do the same and I also ended up on the bottom of their list too. I felt pretty awful that night and after the other two girls verdicts didn't help but hearing I'm the ugliest in the group from the girl I liked really hurt a ton and naturally I stopped trying after that. Story 6 One night stand developed into dating, potentially serious. Then I find out she's married. Then she tells me she's prego and that her husband had a vasectomy several years earlier. Then she kinda disappears. Story 7 Even worse. I bet she didn't share that crack with you. Shameful stuff. Story 8 Date like 2 or 3. She had to use the bathroom. Whatever. No big ear happens. Even stinking the bathroom up wouldn't have bugged me. Not flushing a substantially sized crap and apparently not wiping, however, was a deal breaker. Story 9 Met girl through Tinder, seeing each of the 3 to 4 times, everything was good. Didn't suspect anything bad. She stayed the night, great night. Wake up in the morning empty bed, purse and most of her clothes are still here. Get up, walk to bathroom to pee, come back into room. She is slumped over on the floor, a belt around arm and needle on floor in front of her WTF. I get her up, get dressed and get out. Goodbye. Story 10 He genuinely referred to himself as an alpha male and then continued to tell me how much women sucked while we were at a concert with the woman opener. Story 11 She stood me up on my 30th B-Day after she invited me out of town to celebrate. It was all good, got myself an amazing steak dinner and my nieces and nephews got me a chocolate cake and they got me a Captain America shirt I still use to this day. Story 12 We both worked at a Hollywood video shortly after DVD rentals became a thing. That part is just context for the time period. We were both in high school but went to different ones. She was attractive and had a wicked sense of humour. We also got along pretty well. I was planning to ask her to my school's homecoming. One Saturday morning we were both on the opening shift. A severely mentally handicapped man came in asking for help with his watch. I tried to help him, but the thing looked pretty busted. As soon as the door closed she let out a huge disgusted sigh and said, God, I freaking hate us so gross. And the shuddered like someone had splashed her with something. My opinion of her dropped like like a lead balloon. Story 13 sounds like that Ted was too big to flush. That's why you have to have your poop knife conveniently located next to the crapter. Story 14 Oyumi stated, Dating a girl at work starts sleeping together gets pretty serious. Then, walking out of work one day, some dude just sucker punches me right in the mouth. That was her husband. Then she tells us both she's pregnant, but find out that she was also sleeping with her gym coach and the coke man that delivered to our work. She disappears and none of us hear from her again. 18 years later this guy messages me and thinks I'm his dad. We do a DNA test and sure enough, I'm the winner. Now I have another son. She lied to him and said I got her pregnant and bailed. I have him take me to her first time I had seen her since she disappeared. We set the record straight with him ASAP. She tried to lie, but I didn't allow that crap to happen. Story 15 Honestly, your friends are jerks. No one should be ranking from best looking to worst looking. Anyone with class would only name the best looking, if at all. Story 16 We met online and would talk for hours on a daily basis. After two years, he needed a place to stay, so I said he could come stay with me. It soon became clear when he arrived why I only ever saw headshots, he was morbidly obese, like 28 stone, and disabled as a result. However, by that time, there were a lot of feelings involved, and I love people for who they are, not what they look like. So we made a go of it for two years. In that time, I was working full-time on the phones for a charity. 
When I came home, he wouldn't let me have a moment's peace and quiet, which is what I needed after a stressful day at work. Instead, he had to hold my hand constantly and would talk non-stop. I mean, I get he was on his own all day, but he would also be constantly messaging while I was at work. So I had no escape. I literally became his full-time carer, on top of working 45 plus hours a week. I tried desperately to help him lose weight, but there was always an excuse. What pushed me over the edge was when we discussed that I wanted kids. However, he felt that my lifestyle was not healthy enough to possibly raise children. I was an average and totally acceptable weight. In that moment it became clear that he would never change. He had the nerve to criticise me when he had done nothing to improve himself, which filled me with rage. I told him it was over and he had two weeks to leave. He then told me he wanted to propose and that we should have kids right away. I nope right out of that relationship in an instant once he said that. Story 17 I found out he had been divorced 5 times by the age of 45. Story 18 I realised he was using me for favours. He was always needy, but never though when I desperately needed him. Story 19 he made excuses for everything. We could not have one conversation where he did not blame someone else for his own crap. Dropped out of college well, it was a stupid degree anyways. His teachers were unfair to him specifically. Higher education as a whole is a scam. Never had a job at almost 24 plus years old, well, it's his mom's fault for not getting him used to working at a young age. Can't pay for his half of the date. His bummy friends must have ripped him off. We're playing video games and he dies. It's my fault, our teammates faults. The game is dumb, he's lagging, his controller died. I very quickly realised that this inability to acknowledge his mistakes or shortcomings would bleed into the relationship. I could not see myself as someone who acted that way long term, so I dipped out and encouraged him to do some real introspection. His response, of course, was that I clearly didn't like him that much and didn't try enough. Yeah, shocking, an X200B edit grammar and clarity. 